Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris MD Tech, and I wanted to go over the uh, multi-zone audio I have here using Airport Expresses um, using AirPlay 2. So I have all my different zones here, and including you know master bedroom, master bath, guest bedroom, guest bath, all that. And uh, so each one of these zones has a three and a half millimeter cable in the back, the RCA, to the rear, the amplifier. So the amplifier is powering the speakers in the room, and this is your AirPlay 2 receiver. And this is connected uh, via Ethernet to the network here. So what we'll do is we'll go through the configuration. You can see I have on each of these labeled the room it goes to, as well as the IP address. So before we get into the Windows application, the airport utility, I want to first make sure that you understand the hardware uh, that you're going to be connecting, including the amplifier with the Apple Airport Express speaker wire and the switch. First, let's understand this and move on to the next step so you can configure it correctly. To further clarify this, I'd like to go over, and you'll notice the Apple Airport Express, the second generation here. So if we start at number two, we have the link lights. All right, and number three is the power. Four is the WAN, which we're not going to use. Five is the Ethernet, which we will use, connecting this to our switch. Six is the USB, which we will not use. Seven is our audio out. So this is the RCA cable, the 3.5 millimeter jack that will go into here to the corresponding end on the amplifier. And we'll show you that And the reset button is eight. So paying attention, number seven, the audio out, that's the RCA cable. That is gonna go from here to our corresponding speaker at so-and-so uh, IP address, and this is the RCA cable, red and white, going here. And you notice here I have the 3.5 millimeter RCA. And into your Ethernet, we'll, we'll go in there, your Ethernet Cat 6 to your switch. And you'll notice here on my specific amplifier, we have the Phoenix uh, adapters for audio. And I'll go ahead and show you how that's going to work. So if you look at the left and right speaker here, this is where the speaker wire from the den physically will enter into each of these holes here. Okay, and then you'll tighten these screws in order to secure the speaker inside of this connector to pole. And then you'll take this and it will simply push in to the left and right speaker region. Now this is how the back of my amplifier looks. You'll notice the two Phoenix adapters and the RCA cable inputs. Alrighty, so we're going to look at how to configure the Apple Airport Express device in this iOS tablet here. And I'm showing it you in here, um, the iOS device as well as on Windows. So we'll click on the Airport Utility and it's going to show you the internet. It's going to show you the different devices I have. All right, many of them. And these are all AirPlay 2 enabled Apple Airport Expresses. So, the, and, and it's the second generation. Let's click on Dan. We'll just go and look at that one. All right. And basically when you open it up, it shows the connection and how it is, the IP address, the version of software, the hardware info. All right. So when you go into configure it, we're going to go to edit. All right, and the different areas it's going to show is similar to that in Windows, but it shows the base station, the network, AirPlay, Internet Connection, and Advanced. And under each of these, there will be settings you'll need to pay attention to. Let's start by going to base station, and this just has your name, so I can change the name to whatever corresponding um, area on the amplifier it's going to. But if my speaker wire coming into the back of my you know data center there is coming from the den, then I want it to be hooked up into the area where the den is. So I hope you understand that. Um, I'm going to cancel. 
Then we will go to network. And the network should be off in general. All right, Wi-Fi mode, off. But here are your choices. Create a wireless network, join a wireless network, or extend a wireless network. And it should be off, okay? We'll hit cancel. We'll go to AirPlay and enable AirPlay, all right? Um, the speaker name is there and password optional, and that's optional as well. Then we'll go to internet connection. Under here, you're gonna make sure it's static because we wanna have a static IP address for the Apple Airport Express, okay? Because it's designated to a specific room in the house. And your IP address will depend on whatever um, you know your numbers are, and then your router address, um, and DNS server um, address and numbers you'll have uh, there as well, corresponding to your setup. I'll hit cancel. This will take us um, back to this screen. Then we we'll go to advanced, and under advanced you have DHCP and NAT. Let's just go to that. And router mode is off bridge mode so these are your choices but we want it to be off bridge mode so ensure that you have that done access control not enabled okay ip v6 make sure it's link local only here's your other choices but make sure it's link local only and dynamic global host name just undo that and then passwords restart base station restore defaults pretty self-explanatory um for that so that's how to configure it using the tablet um airport utility now we'll go ahead and look at it in windows and if you have any questions along you know stop it and message me and we'll try and uh, answer your questions and i wanted to bring you another alternative way of configuring your apple airport express so we can do it as well in windows with the airport utility in the iOS system, we use the airport utility. It does seem to work a little better because we're working with similar devices, technology, and they can communicate better. But if you do want to use it in the Windows environment, you can use the airport utility and it will show all your different base stations here, which I have listed. Now, if you want to set them up, you're going to go to manual setup. And I have these configured already, as you can see. So let me go into manual setup. It's going to ask me for my password. It's going to open up. And what you'll see is this. You will see airport, internet, music, printers, advanced, summary, base station, and wireless. So in general, this is the summary. All right. And you're going to want the wireless mode off, wireless network name disabled, wireless security disabled, if you'd like, channel disabled. You don't want any clients connected to it and you're connected using Ethernet, and then you have your IP address. Remember, the Ethernet's going to be connected to the back of the Apple Airport Express into your um, router or whatever it is you're using. Now we're going to go to base station. That's under airport. And you're going to name it, you're going to give it its password, and you're going to re remain, everything here will remain the same as you see here. Under wireless, still under airport, it's going to be off. Wireless mode is off. You don't want to create a wireless network or join one or extend, so it's off. Let's now go to internet. You're going to connect using ethernet and connection sharing is off, bridge mode. Let's go to the next tab, TCP IP, and this is where you'll have your IP address, which you'll give it, and your router address and your DNS servers and subnet mask. It's going to be configured manually IPv4. Onto music, enable airplay, printers, nothing there. And under logging and statistics, this is how we keep it. IPv6 mode, link local only. So this is essentially how you set this up. Any questions, let us know. And thank you for watching.